Today, I'm making a big step forward with the wiring for the inverters. We're going to be putting in the AC combiner box, circuit breakers, and some 6 gauge wire. So here we go. It's been a while since I've been working on this off-grid project. My goal is to be able to power my house and garage off the grid using the solar array in the backyard, the big tower of batteries that I have, and these pair of SMA inverters. Each inverter is 6,000 watts. Now I'm going to be running some 6 gauge wire from the inverters to this AC breaker box which is becoming my combiner box. Now it used to be a sub panel box in another building so it is 6 gauge copper wire. It'll be plenty big enough for what we're doing. You can see the breaker is listed as 60 amps and there are two poles here. So each one is going to be a single phase at 120 volts and then combined we'll have 240 volts out. Now this is a Murray panel and we just put this in by hooking one side of the circuit breakers and then we're going to push onto the bus bars here. Just like that. Now this is called back feeding. We're back feeding this breaker. When the inverters back feed on this side the wires themselves will be live so just switching this on and off doesn't kill the wires themselves now when I'm using this Murray box I need to get this kit which is ECMBR2 now that's the back feed kit now there's this little hook that needs to go into the slot you can see the slot between the two poles and we're gonna take this slip it in like that okay so that's plenty tight enough this is just going into the plastic uh, backing here but now I can't pull this breaker off it wants to pull everything apart so far I have the ground wires in we have a six gauge wire coming through there it goes into the wire way and over here I have put a grounding bar inside so it also grounds the wireway itself and then allows me to split off so I can run a ground wire up to this inverter over here to this inverter and all the way over here to uh, this breaker box for the DC side now the black and red are going to be the two hot legs the white wire is going to be the neutral but I don't think I had enough. I, I took all the rest that Home Depot had and they were at the end of the spool and they didn't have any spares. So I think I'm going to have to do a piece of black wire and I'll just tape it up. Uh, where is it here? I got some white tape and so I have to tape the ends. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll take it apart and see if we got enough to pull it off. I have both hot legs in the breaker nice and tight. Now the last step to making this a main breaker is going to be putting this little plastic guard on here. So it should just snap over. Yep, there we go. We have all of the six gauge wire connected to the neutral, the hot leg, and the ground of the inverters and it runs back to the combiner box which has the 60 amp circuit breaker. I've added a 50 amp circuit breaker with a 50 amp 240 volt plug so I'll be able to plug things in. I have to run a ground wire to snag all these grounding bushings that are on the ends of all the conduit. Now please forgive me if I screw up the word between grounding and bonding. I'm not an electrician, I'm just a DIYer. So I did have to phone a friend and ask him about this and he said that this is a uh, slightly different than the main ground wire which is a 6 gauge uh, this one he said I can use a 10 gauge and I have 10 gauge wire so it saves me from having to go out uh, I, I can't define that any further for you guys you'll have to check your own codes in your area uh, but let's get these guys bonded together <laughs> Ok, 
Okay. Alright, now here's the wire that I just brought down. There's the 10 gauge that I just ran up and it comes over here and it snags the bonding bushings. And then it runs up and snags these. Here's my 50 amp plug so I can plug some things in. And I used a six gauge wire simply because I had it as part of the spools. 50 amp circuit breaker and here's my main circuit breaker which is a 60 amp again with the 6 gauge wire and I have the hold down kit so this can't be accidentally pulled out this is bonded here to these uh, grounding bushings including this one and they all run through and everything goes to this grounding bar that I added that way both the wire way is grounded and all of these Little bushings in here are all grounded as well. The AC wiring is complete. I wanted to do the AC side of things before I wired these guys up to the batteries because I wanted to make sure that there was no charge inside these inverters while I worked on them. Now maybe on the next video I'll get to the DC wiring. I also have to program the inverters. So I have to update the firmware in them and get an SD card in the master and program them to be out of phase and you know I haven't done that part yet so we'll be we'll be learning about it together uh, so thank you everybody very much for watching if you enjoy the videos please like subscribe comment share check out the links in the description below if you'd like to help support the channel thanks